So hello folks and welcome to Algon Dental here in Bingen, Germany. My name is Andreas. I'm with the company now for many, many years doing uh, sales within the German-speaking markets mainly. Um, I have of course a lot of experience of the customer needs and uh, what he desires. And one question that got frequently asked is uh, the impression taken. Um, basically there are many many ways to do the impression taken but uh, today I want to speak about um, impression taken on abutment level in this case on the abutments for the uh, cemented restoration for cemented crowns and bridges uh, because this is still one of the most common prosthetics uh, that our customers use and uh, we um, have developed for our K3 Pro system with that cold welded conical connection a special way to do the impression on a very very efficient uh, and also a cheap way and I'm now gonna show you on this printed model here how it works and it's really very simple as you can see here I have already placed uh, the so-called EAK abutment on the implant. You can use the, this kind of um, abutment level impression with the EAK abutment, but also on a similar, a similar abutment would also be the temporary abutment. The temporary abutment is also exactly similar. You could also use this one just with a different difference that the temporary abutment is not sitting in the cold welded conical connection. But after you have done the uh, re-entry uh, and placed, no matter if the temporary abutment or the permanent EAK abutment, you can do the uh, impression directly over, over the abutment with a tool that might be already familiar to you because it's the same tool that we use um, for the impression of the uh, uh, closed tray. For the closed tray impression post, we use the same part. You see this part here? You place it over the abutment. You, can, you cannot turn it. You can turn it only in two directions, 180 degrees difference, and you will hear a firm snap when it's in, into position. Once again, so, and in this situation, you're doing the impression right on top of the abutment. You will remove, you will remove the impression and then you can leave the abutment as it is and place, instead of a gingiva former, you can place a healing cap here. We have these pre-manufactured healing caps and you can rest it within the mouth. 